Hello everyone, my name is Smallcats. Welcome to the Border World, a six week SMP where 16 creators are trapped inside a world border that expands for a time and then contracts, swallowing bills as it goes, until the end of the six weeks when the border becomes zero and the world is deleted, along with everything in it. I'm here with Tadpole Milk doing the first ever fish review, aka fishing interview, where we spend some time Minecraft fishing and asking Minecraft creators questions about themselves, content creation, life, and Probably some silly questions thrown in just for fun. Enjoy. All right. So, how do you do? You want to kind of tell chat what's going on and who I am if they don't know me? Oh yeah. So everyone in my chat right now, we're hanging out with Small Cats. Uh, we're on the Border World, and Small Cats is going to be doing an interview with us. We're the very first interview, and I have no clothes on, but it's fine. Totally fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Yeah. I was told I had to remove all my clothes when I got on the boat. I don't know why. I don't know where this is going. You were wearing like a kind of hodgepodge array of like broken bits of different types of armor. So it wasn't exactly a vibe, but. It's early game. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want from me, Todd. <laughs> Professionalism for both of us. Of course. You were, yes, yes. I was asked to take off my armor, and I just did it. All right, Todd. Well, I, I guess uh, I'm going to kind of explain what we're doing here, which is that the other day, we were kind of sitting here in a voice call talking, just sort of chatting about life and stuff. And I think we made a joke about interviews. And mm -hmm. I said, oh, I could do fished reviews, which are interviews <laughs> with the Border World members while fishing. And that yeah. actually sounded like a great idea the more I thought about it. But it'd be a really fun way to kind of get to know people and to sort of showcase all the amazing people we have on the border world. So I've got a list of questions, some of which are more serious in nature, some of which are plain silly. So it'll hopefully keep you on your toes. All right. Well, <laughs> so here's our, our first question. Not really a question, but just tell me about yourself, whatever you want to tell me. Whatever I want to tell you, um, well, I am IRL. I'm a dad of four amazing girls. Um, they're young adults, I guess you'd say. So their need for dad is not as much as it was before. When they taught me about Minecraft, that's how I learned how to play this game was through them. Uh, and then I fell in love with it. And then I was like, you know what? I want to just kind of create a space where people can come hang out while we play this game and just like, maybe they'll play too. And we'll talk about the game while we're playing the game. Kind of like when you were friends and you hung out with your friend's house. Um, and I love, I just fell in love with streaming and doing all the things and it lives in my brain rent free 24 <laughs> seven. Like I'm always thinking about streaming and what can I do to make it a better experience and hang out with people and coming up, we're going to do our very first charity stream, which I'm really excited about. What charity are you going to be streaming for? For gamers outreach. It's going to be April 6th. Oh, awesome. That is really exciting. Shameless plug. Oh no, please shamelessly <laughs> plug. That's what this is for. Yeah, I'm really I'm really excited. Nervous, but really excited. Is this your first charity stream? Yes, very first. Okay. Well, absolutely. If you're watching this fish review, you should go check out Tad's charity stream on April 6th. All right, Tad, how do you feel about bath pizza? I love bath pizza. I'm on board 100% bath pizza. If I had a long day and I'm having a nice relaxing bath, and I'm enjoying the best pizza I've ever had, and I accidentally drop my pizza in the bathtub, I am going to eat that, suds and all. I mean, th that's my pizza. This is my reward for the day I just survived. Oh yes, I'm eating that pizza. Okay, so to me, it sounds like you're definitely pro bath pizza. Oh, <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> no question about it, pro <laughs> bath e pizza. Not even gonna think twice. I'm just gonna just, Grab it right out and get, keep going. Keep relaxing. Have my candles, my scented candles next to me and everything. Just, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what would be your preferred bath scented candle and bath pizza flavor? I have no, I don't have a scented candle, but I know I, if I have a bath, a bubble bath with pizza, I want a scented candle. What scent do I want? I don't know. I think I need to go to the store and just sample all the scents. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to pause this interview. You're going to drive to Bath and Body Works. You're going <laughs> to smell every candle and then come back and tell us what you want. And then we can you continue. Know, do you know the closest Bath and Body Works is like 
over an hour away from where I live. Right, yeah, because you live in the woods, right. Yeah, um, pretty much. You know, I forget sometimes that you don't live in society. Right. <laughs> How far away is a Starbucks from you? Oh, 25 minutes, which is closer now. Okay, that's not that bad. Cur yeah. Currently where I live now, it's like 25 minutes. It used to be like 45 minutes. Duncan was 40 minutes. Ugh. So that was closer. That was closer. You're actually <laughs> suffering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, on the on the plus side, I did I didn't really my kids wanted those more than I did. Like I'm good with black coffee, like made from home. I'm fine with that. Uh they definitely were into they they introduced me to the iced coffees and flavored coffees and which are really delicious, but I don't think I could drink them every day. I feel like I could drink a uh, fancy iced coffee every day, but I would start to feel sick, if that makes right. sense. Like I would, the sugar would yes, definitely yes. melt my insides. Right. Yeah. It wasn't the, the flavor. Yes. I could deal with the flavor every day because they are delicious. The, 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 how it would make my body feel part is what I was like. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> All right. Todd, I already know the answer to this question, but are you a pet person? Oh yes, I'm 100% a dog. I love all pets, but if you're gonna like, which if you're gonna make me pick, I'm gonna pick a dog. But I have had so many cats. I've had so many dogs. I love. I just love all animals. Like even wild animals. You see, like where I live, you see wild animals, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> friend. If As if I... not friend, why friend shape? Right. Why are you so furry if you're not friend? <laughs> That's how I feel about every time. Like every time I see a raccoon or a possum, I just want to pick them up and tell them they're a baby. But I know they yes. hate me. <laughs> yes, I saw the biggest r raccoon yesterday on my way to work. Just walking across the road, probably was a, a mama pregnant raccoon, but it was huge. I was like, oh, <laughs> I could carry you around in a baby seat. You're huge. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine someone like comes up to say hi to the baby and it's just a giant raccoon <laughs> wearing like a bonnet and little slippers? Oh yeah, and the sound they make is kind of like a purr. Oh, it's so great. I love it. I think I would love that. That would be like my peak existence if I had oh, yes. a raccoon that I was pushing around in a pram. Yeah, they had those little hands. If you could give it like a bottle, it would drink all the bottle. Oh, so right? cool. That would be amazing. <laughs> Okay, but conversely, what pet would you never want to have? Never want to have? Yeah, what pet a, would you a, say no? I would I would never have a snake. A snake? Sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm terrified of them for no logical reason. There's literally no reason. I never got bit. I've handled them. I learned about them because I was like, there's no reason why I should be afraid of this animal, period, right? So I went to the local areas that had snakes, like the metro parks and the zoos, and I made myself get in and, you know, handle the snakes and learn about them and all this and that. So it's not like I never tried. I just, I can't. I just can't. <laughs> is it because they don't have legs? No, I, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's the leg thing. I don't know. Like, worms don't bother me. For some reason, it's just snakes. I find them fascinating, but... I just don't want one in my house. <laughs> See, that's how I feel about parrots. I would never have a parrot. Because, really? Yes. Well, they live a very long time. Like a, a macaw can live to 70. That's and, true. And they become extremely attached to like whoever their person is. And so, mm -hmm. and I don't oh, wow. think I would want to be beholden to a bird. Yeah. <laughs> and like not be able to leave my house. Well, I feel bad for the parrot. Like. Yeah, well, because I guess, like, macaws bond for life or whatever. So, like, if they pick a person or another mm -hmm. bird in the wild, and that's their that's their thing. Mm -hmm. And they never want anyone else. So, they get really stressed out, I guess. So, I would never that's have amazing. a bird. That's amazing. I didn't know that. <laughs> but, yeah, I would definitely never have a parrot. Plus, they're very loud and squawky, and I, it would drive yeah, me crazy. I, yeah, I know, I've known people that have had parrots, but I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's Yeah, I, I don't... I. I don't know if it's because I'm getting old or what, but I cannot, I don't know. Yeah, this is probably an always thing. I can't stand to see animals suffer. Any, any animal, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. Like I just, it literally like hurts. Right. <laughs> just, Every I single can't. one of those sad ASPCA commercials just yes. puts me into a coma. Like I uh -huh. can't handle yeah. it. I'm so the upset. Feels, <laughs> yeah, I can't, the feels are just, <laughs> just too much. <laughs> If your house was on fire, what's the first thing you'd grab, assuming you had time for one thing? 
like possession, like all the people are safe and I can just get possessions? Assuming the people are or... safe, yeah, you like your possessions. Animals are safe. Yeah. Okay, well, the only thing I have the is my PC. The living things are safe, so you <laughs> can grab I... one item. <laughs> the only thing I have right now is my PC, so I'd be <laughs> yanking that bad boy out the window. <laughs> can I get any peripherals? <laughs> <laughs> Tad lives in a, a 12 by 12 empty box with just a gaming computer, apparently. Uh, you're not wrong. Not too far off there. I don't have much right now. It's fine. I feel like the PC as a creator is such a big part of what we do that I, I would... I it, There's other items I would grab first, but I would the PC would really hurt to lose. Oh, yeah. Everything just, else is... Re like, I mean, this is replaceable as well, but... like. It's not because I don't have this backed up on a drive that's not in the house that's on fire. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If that makes sense to you. Like, yes. All the things I've worked on for the past two years are in here, in this PC. Like, you know, creative wise, uh, content creator wise. So if it's gone, it's, it's like I would start over 100%. I don't know how. Somehow, some way, <laughs> I would start over. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I just love it that much, honestly. That's totally valid. I think losing my streamer bot setup would be the most upsetting to me because it was just a pain to do it, and I don't want to have to do it again. Yeah, I've, I've heard. I, I haven't tried because I've heard the horror stories. I'm it, like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's very frustrating to set up. Once it's set up, though, it runs great. Like, no complaints here, but... Really? The, the process was very time-consuming. Have you gone through an update yet? Yes, I've updated multiple different things so far and it hasn't broken it yet knock on wood. really mm -hmm. huh. yeah it well, seems maybe pretty I... stable i mean what what would what would be the downside if i did that uh <laughs> the downside would probably be that i would have to teach you how to do it <laughs> yes a hundred percent yes yeah, I think that would be the only downside. And that's a personal downside on my part, not necessarily right. for you. Right. I mean, I don't see what the downside is for me other than, you know, <laughs> making you angry. <laughs> it's totally fine. I it, it wouldn't be like trying to get my grandma to open her email. It's fine. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like you've helped me with so many things over, since the beginning. It's amazing. I can't believe you still chat with me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like we're friends. Right? <laughs> I remember when, when uh, you invited me to Friends of Nonsense, uh, which is the very first SMP I was ever on, like ever. And I was like, what happened? Why, why won't this work? I kept falling out of the world. I went through so many things <laughs> trying to figure that out. I forgot about that issue. Oh, not me. <laughs> what was it that was wrong again? Didn't you have like your render distance up something crazy or, or something like that? Did you just get punched? I yeah, did. I did. Hi, Ginger. <laughs> One sec. Let me tell Ginger we're doing a fish to review. <laughs> this is what I love about the Tuts and Peas. There's never any piece. <laughs> No. <laughs> or hi. Hi. You're in the edit now. <laughs> hi, Ginger. <laughs> Off she goes into the distance. I was like, what happened? <laughs> right? I guess we shouldn't expect anything else from Border Dwellers. All right? I thought it was Loopy. I saw Loopy said hello, and I was like, uh oh. Ginger just sitting there, like, with just the top of her helmet sticking out of the water for a minute really made me think of the crocodile from Peter Pan. Yes! <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's wild that you said that because I was thinking of making a frog for the lily pad. Mm -hmm. But I was like, what if I had it in the water and just the head and these giant eyeballs were sticking up, like, behind it somewhere? Okay, that Kinda would be like, cool. Like, over there, like, on the right. I was like... And then, yeah, that's really cool. That's really weird because I thought about that today, actually. <laughs> I think you should do it. I haven't told anybody. <laughs> like, the well, now you've told the world. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, the world knows. It's true because everyone's going to listen to this. Yes, the whole world <laughs> will be broadcasted this interview directly. I've already set it up. What drew you to Minecraft? Uh, what drew me to it? Mm -hmm. I just, I think it's the simplicity of it. So Minecraft to me is whatever I can think, however I want, you know, there's no, 
It's not like a linear, you have to do this before you can do this. Like there is the dragon fight and the, there's the progression of that, but you don't even have to do that. That's the great thing. Like you don't have to do the dragon fight. You don't have to go to the end and get the wing. Like you can do whatever you want. You can build whatever you can think of in this world. I, I just, I don't know. Just all that, just the giant sandboxiness of it. There's no wrong way. Just, it just grabbed my brain and won't let it go. Like I still, it's been two years, a little over and I, well, since I've been streaming, I've been playing for probably maybe four, maybe five years now. And I still am like, what about this? I could do that. And I still haven't like got bored with it. Like you hear people getting bored, which is fine. Not everything is for everyone. Um, but I'm just, I haven't got there yet. And I hope I never do, but I just keep new ideas and new ideas and new ideas. And then when you interact with other people, their ideas kind of just add to your ideas, you know? And I hope maybe some of my ideas help somebody else like, oh yeah, I can do that too. And they just keep playing the game and just keep enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. The game is so collaborative in that sense that you can really build off of, you see someone else's build and you go, oh, that's so cool. Like, I want to do something like that. And right. then you end up making something similar but different, and you just sort of build from there. Yeah, it's it's so much fun. It's, I I just I, I cannot ex like words. Are, it's difficult for words. Like, what do you love about it? Everything. How do I break that down? <laughs> <laughs> We're asking the hard hitting questions here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just log in, and you it just you're um, you're only limited by your imagination. And if you get stuck, you can go to. We were talking about this earlier today in in uh, our stream. You can go to some place like uh, Art Station and just get an idea because there's so many fantastic artists out there that have drawn so many amazing things that you can just be like, hey, you know what? I might be able to make that in Minecraft and then go try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's just like infinite. When, when you hear people say infinite possibilities, they're not wrong. It's literally that. No, amazing. absolutely. I, I think that's what's so fun about the game is that truly you are really only limited by your own creativity and your own imagination. So it it's a game that you can do anything with and it's accessible really to everyone. You know, you yes. can make anything out of anything. And if you don't want to make stuff, you can just run around. There's right. there's the worlds are basically infinite and you can right. just explore forever if that's yeah. your jam. Yeah, right. You don't have, like I said, build. You don't have to build. You can literally do anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are people who use Minecraft to tell stories or to role play, to, to do yes. PvP. It's, yep. it's truly everyone's game. I love it. I love all the aspects of all the things. So out of curiosity, is, uh, is there something you're most proud of as a creator? I think the thing I'm most proud of is the community of people that uh we've built i say we because it's like literally all of us it's not me i'm just like i'm doing my thing and people keep coming in and keep coming back and keep hanging out and like the interactions between them in chat when they're talking to each other and like the way we support each other and like build each other up in in like all the little ways is just I, I love that. That is the greatest thing to me ever. And meeting other people that are like, hey, I'm thinking about this. And like, can you help me? I'm like, yeah, sure. I don't know what I can do. But like, we just all help each other. And I really, really like that. That's to me, that's the greatest part of all this content creation is meeting the people and helping each other do the things. And stuff. Yeah, I love that. The, the Minecraft creator community is so tight knit as well that it's it's just wonderful that you can sort of pop into anyone's chat and you run into the people from somebody else's chat and you get to yes. just hang out and <laughs> and enjoy your your time together it's, yep. it's such a satisfying experience i feel like and the people are just so kind and welcoming like i've i personally have really enjoyed being a member of this community because of that there's such a sense of camaraderie no, same. Yeah, and like you said, you can go to almost any other chat and somebody you know will pop up, it seems like. like it, and it wasn't that way when I started, right? When you first started Twitch Journey, I don't know about you, but I knew nobody. I didn't talk at all. Mm -hmm. And then I finally started t chatting. I just got a raid. And then it was like, <laughs> after that, you just start running into people like crazy. Mm -hmm. Just like crazy. Um, if you could go back, what would you change about your content creation journey? Hmm. 
I honestly, I don't think I would change anything. Not even uh, like yeah. a, I wish I had gotten my sound sorted out sooner or. No, no. Like, like, okay. So like this, the, the literal scuffness that is my stream, like it irritates me, but at the same time, I'm okay with it. Um, only because if somebody's like thinking about streaming and they're like, I gotta be perfect to stream. No, you don't. No, you don't. So like if, if my stream helps somebody out there to like pull the trigger on something they just really, really want to do, but they're afraid they're not perfect, then I, I'm, that's a win. Like I may never know that. Right. I'm okay with never knowing that, but my hope is there's at least one out there that went live after they saw how scuffed I was and like, I can do better than this guy. And they do. And they, you know, and they do, and I never know. And I'm fine with that. But there has to be at least one person that was like, all right, this guy's doing it and it's scuffed. It's fine. It's not the end of the world because it's not the end of the world. Would I like a perfectly polished, everything's great stream? Everybody would, but that's just something to strive for. No, nothing's ever perfect to me. Nothing's ever perfect. You're always just striving to improve. And I'm, I'm, and it's, that's fine. I think the only thing I would change is I, I, you're going to laugh. I, I'd want to stream more. I Look. cannot, oh, uh, I cannot even imagine how you could possibly stream more. I, I would want to, I would want to stream more. Do you not have uh, another fishing rod? No, of course not. Okay. One sec. I have another one in my inventory. <laughs> song are you currently obsessed with what song am i currently obsessed with yeah <sighs> hmm i don't really know i don't like i've spoke about this before most of, okay so i don't really have a song song um like i don't really typically remember song titles or like uh artist names like i'll hear a song if i like the song it's in my play it's in my playlist right that's just how I do things. That's why our playlist is kind of like all over the place. Currently, like my brain is stuck on baby metal for some reason. Uh, like, and just, <laughs> just pick one. I don't care which one. I can't believe how late I am to the baby metal party. Uh, my kids, I was, thought I, I thought I discovered something, right? And I showed my kids and they're like, yeah, they've been around forever. I was like, oh, why does nobody tell me these things? <laughs> and also, I'm pretty sure that most of the baby metal songs that are like popular are are have a, like a different band member than are currently in the in the group like, yeah you're right yeah the one the one had to drop out for health reasons and she was replaced and the new one is good the new uh the new singer they got to replace her is good mm -hmm. um and my kids are like telling me how there's like hate for her and stuff and like i don't know oh geez are people yeah, okay like, yeah because i've heard some of the new ones and she's really good so i don't know i just i got sucked into that uh black hole of awesomeness and i'm stuck in there for <laughs> i really love that the answer to this question is baby metal I can't like help for it. people who don't know <laughs> baby metal is a japanese pop band that does metal music it's and it's a girl group mm -hmm. and it it's you just can't explain what baby metal is until you listen to it so you, you really have should yes. listen to them because experience it watch a live event watch it they're very like, good oh so good <laughs> and it's just such a an experience to watch like the the music and the the look of the band and like the aesthetic they're going for and the music just all don't fit together but they do in the perfect way <laughs> right yes i love it who in your life has been the biggest influence on the person you are today? Mm, the person I am right now. Right now. My kids. That's a good answer. Uh, a thousand percent my kids. I was a completely different person before them. Um, having them and then as they grew up, like into young young women and like listening to their ideas and their thoughts and the way they perceive the world in all their different ways opened my eyes and brains to a lot of things I previously never thought of. And I'll be forever grateful for that. And it's still going on. So like, it's not like it's over, like just conversations I have with them are still just 
more and more things. I'm like, man, where did you get that? Like I, when I was their age, the things they're talking about, thinking about, I would have never I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love, I love having the conversations with them. Yeah. There's something to be said for like how in tune with things happening, the younger generations are. Oh yeah, like, for sure. That it, it's really awesome. I think personally, mm -hmm. when I was, when I was young, like good or bad, I didn't, I didn't care. Like in there was a different world too. Uh, but my life was like, get up, go to work, go home, get up, go to, and that was it. There was nothing else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like, and they, these guys are into like, they do that too now, but they're also into all these other things. Like, you know, deep thought thinking things. I'm like, what the heck? Where did you get that? I was watching Yo MTV raps when I was your age. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, that is such a callback. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it, 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 this is just a funny conversation because I was somebody was talking about Napster earlier today and now that. And it just <laughs> yeah. feels like such a day to get like flashback to the past whiplash. Right? Like <laughs> I thought the Napster conversation was dating me, but like no, it's a <laughs> Oh no. Well, dude, Napster came out when my kids were small, so like I was way older then oh, <laughs> Emma's from rumors yeah yo mtv rats that was a thing man that was a whole vibe right there that was like an event video killed the radio star oh man such good times you kids don't even know <laughs> they don't know how good they have it gotta walk this off <laughs> if you could give your younger self advice what would it be um hmm, that's a good question i've actually thought about this and there's so many, you know what i would tell my younger self honestly i so i i never got a for all of you that have careers i never did that okay i didn't go to school i didn't learn to trade i didn't have a thing i did for 30 years like i never could figure out what i wanted to do so i just tried this try that and i kind of got in one thing for a long time i would tell my younger self Find something you love doing, even if you don't make a fortune at it, and learn about it. Do it. Like, if you can't make any money to buy food, so get a job to pet, buy food and then do as much as you can on your free time and do the thing you're passionate about. Like, just never stop doing the thing you're passionate about. And it may lead you to something else. Like, you may start down the path for A, and on that path, you may learn about C, and you move over a little bit, but you're just moving and it's things you're interested in. Um, and I never did that. I never discovered something I was passionate about to like make a living at. Um, and I think if you can do that, you'll be extremely happy because you'll look forward to getting up every day. Mm -hmm. I now, mean, there is the never. saying of like, if you love what you do, you'll never work, which exactly. I, I am one of those people who has that as more of a glass half full sort of thing. Like, yes, you're still going to work, but at least you're going to like what you're doing. Right. Like right. work is work, but work, if you can yes, like yes. it, then right. you're better off. Right. Work is work. But if it if it if it piques your interest, right? Whatever it is, whatever you're doing, if it's like, oh, I'm really interested in this, and you go to work every day and you do it and you learn about it, you discover new things about what you're doing, like I think I think you'll be you'll be happier than if you're going and doing a job like, man, I really hate this, but I can't do anything else because it pays the bills. You get in that situation, and it's kind of it's a, it's a lot harder to get out of, uh, in my mm -hmm. opinion. This is you know this is all my opinion. I'm not like reading the textbook or anything. Just... Everyone, I want you all to know that this is 100 percent true, factual information <laughs> that Tadpole is saying. There is right. no debate. <laughs> Take it to the bank. You, yeah, exactly. You cannot <laughs> disagree. It's not allowed. Go. Oh my goodness, Tadpole, go to sleep. Uh... But I'm being interviewed. Is it, it's rude of me to sleep. The sky rats are interrupting our interview. <laughs> they don't want me to sleep. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's the first so time I've slept. That's the first time I've slept on this server, by the way. At all? Yeah, ever. Why are you not sleeping? <laughs> why, why would I? Uh, okay, I'm fishing again. <laughs> We, we have a limited amount of time to do anything here. That's true. Like, that's geez. true. <laughs> Had mending or infinity. Uh, uh, infinity. If you're mending, you're a gremlin. Why? I, that's just my opinion. I honestly, I, 
I'm terrible with my shots, so I want all the bow arrows. And I'm just not gonna carry a shulker of arrows around. I'm just not. I know I can. Don't get me wrong. I know I can. I'm not going to. And I'm not gonna want to worry about running out of arrows. Um, when I play first person shooter games, I'm terrible at reloading my weapon. So there's no way I'm gonna reload my hot bar or whatever with arrows at any given moment. Like, I'm just not. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Just walk I know. around with 15 stacks of arrows in your inventory. Like, this is fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm not... Like, early game? Okay, yeah, you have to do it. I get it. But there's a tool in the game, you know, it's called Infinity. I can apply that to my bow, and I don't have to worry about having arrows anymore. So, that's why. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I vehemently disagree with you, but, like, fine. No, I know, yeah. Everybody has their thing, like... I, I jokingly be like, oh, you're Team Infinity or, you know, you're, you're out of your mind. I don't really care. <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's, it is so much fun to have the heated argument over both because I think at the end of the day, everybody really knows it doesn't matter what you run. Just have fun. So <laughs> mm -hmm. Personally, I just get annoyed having to craft a new bow. But see, they're not even that expensive, especially if it's like by the time your bow breaks, if you have Infinity on it, uh, odds are, uh, maybe you don't, but odds are you have a librarian of some sort that has the things and you probably have an XP farm of some kind at that point. By the time that bow breaks, you probably have those things. So it's not that difficult to fix it. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe. <laughs> odds, I'm, right. Odds are, it doesn't mean you are because you can fix it a couple times with a regular bow. And, you know, before you I have to more make a new one. <laughs> right, right. So when it's too expensive, you just go get a new one from your, you know, Fletchers or librarians or whoever you have. And it's not that big a deal. Because like I said, typically by the time you've repaired it and it's not that good anymore or too expensive, you, you've oh, done things. Your inventory is full because you just yeeted a bow. Mm, I know. I need that bow. Where'd it go? Uh, In the water somewhere? It's gone. No! Not the water. Oh, such a drama queen. But what if it had infinity on it? Uh, then you should throw it in the trash. Wow. You wanted my opinion. You got my opinion. The the border world is is going to go away, right? Yep. It, it's yep. going to disappear in a few weeks. What does this experience mean to you? And how do you sort of deal with and view the idea that everything you do on this world is going to go away? If that makes sense. Um. It's just, I, okay, so I know there's probably like a really deep meaning for this. I don't look at it that way. I'm looking at it as having fun with some amazing people playing a game I truly love for, yes, a limited amount of time, which just means that when I do get on, that I need to just make the most of the interactions I have with the people. Because some of the people on here I've never played Minecraft with before. And some of them I've never chatted with, like, voice to voice. I might have been in a chat or something and, like, typed something. But having an actual conversation with, I've never had before. So I, I look at it as, like, a growing, like, as a person experience. Meeting new people. Learning new things. Uh, because each person's, like, a 100% a, a, a unique person. Like, even if you're brother or sister, you both had different experiences in your life. Because you're not together 24-7 experiencing the same things so you both have different views on the world so meeting people from around the world and like through the game of minecraft is just uh, it just blows my brain i just learning all this new stuff and different perspectives and like things i never thought of or you know it's just i, I love it it's just that mm -hmm. I, I look at it as a growing experience personally and just getting to meet new people and hear new ideas and all things like that, like the growing and like the 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 border expanding and shrinking is just a, an ingenious idea by Rubik's. Like Rubik's is like a mad scientist. Uh, I have really loved all of the different <laughs> world concepts that Rubik's has come up with. It's been so much fun. A hundred percent. And I can't like I I know Rubik's is already thinking of the next one. I know. I just oh a hundred percent. Just the way she is. It's just <laughs> right. <laughs> never stops and i cannot wait to see what the next one is like i want to experience this one fully but i know there's going to be something else mm -hmm. <laughs>
We are the rats. Yes, we are the rats. And what? I'm and what? I love it. Rats? Yes. <laughs> so Loopy said we are the rats. Rubik's is a mad scientist. We are the rats in the experiment. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. When do we get the cheese? Ah, uh, hopefully soon. I love cheese. Now I want cheese. I do too. I may have cheese when the interview's over. <laughs> Sorry, guys. One sec. Cheese break. I really do think there's something to be said about how multicultural Minecraft is because, like, yes. there are creators from all over the world playing this game that we have the privilege of interacting with all the time and who view things so differently and do things so differently. And it's it's been such a good experience, like, getting to know them and mm -hmm. being influenced, I think, by how they do things. No, 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 I get it. Yes, 100%. Because, well, yeah, because it is a, it's all for us. For us, it's a whole different world. But you can come together in Minecraft and like share so many experiences and like be like, "Oh yeah, here we do this," or they'll say something. It's like, "What was that?" And they'll explain the saying, and it's like, it's great. Mm -hmm. Truly, Minecraft is the game of collaboration. I I think it it just gives so many opportunities to get to know me new people and to to work together. Um, that I, it's one of the things for, that, for Minecraft for me that keeps drawing me back in. You just turned and looked directly at where I have my camera and it was unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I don't know where it is. It's to the right of your head. We're winning. The power of the fish review. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, We're Tab. winning. <laughs> we are coming up on about an hour. So this is my final question. If people want to find you online, where can they do that? You can find me on Twitch over on Tepl underscore milk underscore. All the underscores. Yes, yes. I have a Twitter with the same. Um, I have a YouTube and I think it's the same. I, I you know, I don't I don't I wasn't prepared for this test. It's, I sent you the, the notes ahead of time. How are you not prepared? I know I I because I, I, I was I, I didn't sign up to read. I just, you know. So like that's the thing with like I should know all these things, right? You know, as trying to be a content creator, right? I should know all the links, all the things, so I can direct people to my stuff. And I'm just, I just want to go live. Like, I just come, if you want to come hang out, great. But I'm going to do the thing, okay? If there's one person, if there's no persons there, I'm going to do the thing. <laughs> like, I just am. At Tadpole Milk. There you go. That's a YouTube thing. Um... <laughs> <laughs> who, who other than you just told you that answer <laughs> Luffy thanks Luffy <laughs> if it wasn't for my mods and you you of all mods should know this I would just flounder around I mean it's a fact I've said it I'll say it forever if it wasn't for you guys I would just be like uh, like screeching probably buzzing noises in the background as I play games and be happy and not know. I had no idea. Still at the kitchen <laughs> counter with the laptop. Yeah. Probably. I mean, I would too. I would 100% be doing that. Oh, uh, I, 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 just, I believe it. It is the best. This is, I don't know, streaming and the community we're building and the, the people I've met like in game, out of game through other media has been just some of the most eye opening like personal growing things of my life. Uh, you know, I hope it never stops. <laughs> just, I hope it just continues on forever. And we ride off into the sunset playing Minecraft and hanging out and growing as people and just enjoying life. I hope so too. That if that was the case, I feel like I would be a happy person, like just right? forever. Yeah, I'm good. Like, I don't, I don't really need a whole lot of anything else. <laughs> just friends and <laughs> minecraft yeah basically yeah that's peak right there i mean honestly that is i don't see anything better <laughs> i was gonna ask what's one thing that you want people to take away from this interview but that sounds like it might be hit <laughs> <laughs> there you go yep that would definitely be the biggest takeaway ever well tad thank you so much for doing this and being the first person to be fish reviewed i hope you had a great time I did. I can't believe it was been an hour. I, it really has because I'm currently at 50 minutes recording <laughs> and I had to stop recording after a few minutes to fix something. So it's been no, about an hour. You. I believe, but that's like, that's time. When I do this, time doesn't exist. I'll, yeah. Like w whenever we get done, I'm like, 
oh man, that was like six hours or eight hours or 12 hours. And it feels like it was an hour and a half in my, my, my tap whole brain, whatever, however I process that, it just doesn't process as, oh wow, it's been 10 hours. I don't feel that way. I never have. So time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Like work 30 minutes feels like 10 hours streaming opposite. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed this. Oh, thank you. This was super fun. So this is the pilot episode of the small cats. Fish reviews. <laughs> Fish reviews. Is it? I think this is the thing you should do forever. Fish review? Okay, so I actually was um, talking, eating a fish, one second. I was talking to my partner about this in the car because we went to Costco. Um, and I was saying like, hey, like I'm going to be doing this today with, with Tadpole. Like it's the first one of these. I kind of, we had this idea while we were fishing the other day to do fish reviews, like fish interviews, right? Or fishing interviews. And I was like, you know, really thinking about it. Like I, this could go so far past the border dwellers, mm -hmm. right? This yeah, could go yep. to any Minecraft creator. Like, I'm imagining this is, like, the Minecraft version of, like, Hot Ones. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of eating Hot Wings and being interviewed, yes. you're... Or, like, yeah. you know, between two ferns. Like, this is between two ferns, but Minecraft, it's fishing. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe a you little can... less absurdist. No, you can do this literally forever. If you just get people that are like, yeah, I'll come on. And if, like, Border World's gone, you can make your own little SMP with this boat and some things around it and then just fish. That's exactly what I was imagining. I just get like a tiny server and I decorate a little like fishing area, yeah. boat and a dock yeah. and, and some decorations and plants and stuff. And you just have, that's the fish tree right. world. Yeah. And you can turn phantoms off. It's great. I would put it on peaceful <laughs> mode. Yes. But I As love a drown that idea. is slowly sneaking its way toward us. Right. Yes. I, I mean, honestly, I love that idea and I hope it becomes a thing that you pursue and continue on with. I hope so. I... I'm sort of approaching the border world very differently than I did the candle world, the, the mm -hmm. previous uh, version of the Rubik's experiment. <laughs> yes. Um, candle world, I really tried to like build stuff and, and I really pushed to, to play a lot and, and like create mm -hmm. physical things. And then the world was gone and it sort of felt like, what do I have to show for this? Like, obviously right. I had a wonderful time. I got to interact with so many great people. This drowned is annoying me. Yeah. Um, but they do that. at the end of the day, like the physical things were sort of gone and I had, uh -huh. I was left feeling like I, I wish I had had more personal relationships and spent more time interacting one on one with the people. Yes. Um, yes. And so the, the fish reviews are sort of my response to that. Um, I love it. I was I had originally been thinking about starting a cult as a joke on Border World, and I, I did start that, but mm -hmm. then as I was sort of hanging out and just like looking for something to do that wasn't building something or like just mining for diamonds or whatever, I started fishing because I saw people doing it and it ended up being such a blast. We were having these really silly conversations about centaur anatomy and whatever else. <laughs> um, but it was so much fun, right? Like it was, <laughs> I mean, the they next, were- That's the next interview. <laughs> oh, Vanna is getting a centaur question in his interview. You don't think he isn't, um, but- we ended up having these like really fun, silly conversations that I, I was just having such a great time. And after I ended the stream the other day, we were just sitting here kind of in a call fishing and, and chatting. I was like, I think this is what I want to do. Like, I just oh, yeah. want to dedicate time to spend time with the border dwellers and relax doing something in Minecraft just for the joy of doing it. Right. Um, and, and get to know the people who are here, because that's no. really, to me, the border world is about the people. Mm -hmm. and the experience less of the actual act of minecrafting for sure i agree with that 100 percent. oh yeah and this in like how often in an smp that you play on do you just sit and fish and chat with your server mates very rarely actually right because usually you're busy I'm, building or yeah. doing something yeah usually when i'm playing on an smp nowadays as a creator i'm online to get resources or to build something i am yep. i'm playing to make a thing for content i'm right. not playing to just play and right. that's an aspect of minecraft i've actually really been missing since mm -hmm. becoming a creator and making minecraft my primary content yep so, it's a struggle it is a struggle to just get on and just i'm gonna do nothing today but interact with people 
yeah. And this <laughs> this feels like a nice balance because yes, I'm technically like making content right now, but all I've done is hit record in two different places and then just get to have a lovely conversation with one of my best friends. Yeah, so, you're, you're you're streaming like Tanpole. Well, well done. <laughs> I'm hitting record and something's going to happen. I don't know what. Exactly. <laughs> All right, yep. Dad. Well, thank you so much. This has been such a blast. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for inviting me. I've really enjoyed this. I cannot wait to see where this goes. Thanks, Dad. All right. Have a great rest of your stream. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>